Hi, I'm Brett Evans with MotorOne.com, and today we're going to get a long-awaited look at the future of Infinity. Sitting next to me is the QX60 monograph, which the company says is a preview of what we can expect from the production spec next generation QX60. The QX60 monograph cuts a strong first impression. The Infinity double arch grille makes yet another appearance here, joined by glowering front headlights with a familiar shape, and a unique so-called digital piano key texture for the LED daytime running lamps. The DRLs dovetail nicely into the grille's upper arch, while an illuminated front logo adds a bit more visual pop. The monograph's front grille is reportedly inspired by the intricate folds of Japanese origami, a neat callback that reminds the onlooker of the QX60's national heritage. That's something to admire about the brand. Infinity never tries to build a BMW lookalike. Moving around to the side of the vehicle, the character lines on the QX60 monograph are rather unusual. The strong, peaked front fenders sit lower than the hood, giving the SUV a bolder and wider appearance, ditto the gracefully bulging rear fenders. However, spanning the length of the doors is another crisp body line that sits a few inches below. The body side and wheel arch accents are completely separate, each one fading into the next, which is a surprising design decision that I don't really think works. Still, relative to the current QX60, it's good to see Infinity designers taking some risks. One of those gambles paid off handsomely, though. Gone is the company's signature crescent cut roof pillar, which I'm kind of sad about because it's actually my favorite styling feature of the outgoing SUV. However, they replaced it with an even more attractive caliper shaped greenhouse accent that when combined with the rear hatch spoiler imparts some of that old infinity crescent shape without spelling it out explicitly. It's a wonderful way to update an old design so that it doesn't feel played out or stale. It's subtle and I love it. The rear of the vehicle features lamp designs echoed from the front, though when they're not illuminated, the dark tinted taillights disappear into a single strip of black that spans the width of the car. Digital piano key LEDs appear yet again on the back, with an infinity, infinite road emblem above the lights and the word mark below. Some subtle rear bumper sculpting and a chunky black diffuser liven up the rear end a bit, but generally this is a soft, graceful parting look. Adding some surprise and delight is the QX60 monograph's welcome home illumination. Upon approach, the front grille badge lights up, spreading out to the headlights and mirrors in quick succession. The similar taillight design follows suit. Luxury buyers love features like these, and for Infinity, it's a cheap way to garner some brand loyalty by inspiring owners to perform a little driveway light show for their friends after they buy the car. Taken as a whole, each design cue works together to give the QX60 vastly improved proportions. A nearly horizontal hood, long roofline, and bold wheel openings give this thing some precious attitude. There are a few generic missteps, like the cantilevered black roof rails that look a little bit Lincoln-like, and I wish the body side surfaces were integrated with one another better, but overall this is a pretty successful design. Infinity claims the QX60 monograph is a very close approximation of what we'll see when the next generation crossover arrives. The company won't cop to timing specifics, but we predict it arrives sometime next year as a 2022 model.